Okay, everyone, let's take a look at chapter two, symbols and diagrams. A pictorial drawing shows the physical details of components as seen by the eye. Symbols are used to conveniently represent electrical components in diagrams of most electrical and electronic circuits. In a wiring diagram, the location of a component is generally shown as close to the actual circuit configuration as possible. Schematic diagrams are essential in troubleshooting because they enable an individual to trace a circuit and its functions without regard to the actual size, shape, or location of the component, device, or part. A line or ladder diagram consists of a series of symbols interconnected by lines that are laid out like rungs on a ladder to indicate the flow of current through the various components of a circuit. A one-line diagram is a diagram that uses single lines and graphic symbols to indicate the path and components of an electrical circuit. Care should be taken when using electrical symbols to design or communicate electrical circuit operations because electrical circuit operations may be changed. A block diagram can show you the basic components of a DC power supply. Flowcharts use symbols and interconnecting lines to show a logical sequence of steps for a given set of conditions when troubleshooting motors. We section 2-2 electrical circuits. All electrical circuits include the source, load, control device, and conductors. Most circuits also include fuses or circuit breakers to provide protection for the circuit. A line diagram may be used to illustrate a manual control circuit of a push button controlling a pilot light. A line diagram may be used to illustrate the control and protection of a single phase motor using a manual starter with overload protection. An electric motor on a sump pump can be turned on and off by using an automatic control device such as a float switch. The normally closed contacts of a float switch may be used for a pump operation to maintain a certain level of water in a livestock water tank. A solenoid is an electronic output device that converts electrical energy into a linear mechanical force. A solenoid may be used to control a door lock that is open only when a push button is pressed. A contactor is a control device that uses a small control current to energize or de-energize the load connected to it. The electrical operation of a contactor can be shown using a line diagram, a pictorial diagram, and or a wiring diagram. Auxiliary contacts may be added to a contactor to form an electrical holding circuit. A magnetic motor starter is an electrically operated switch or contactor that includes motor overload protection. The electrical operation of a motor starter can be shown using a line diagram, a pictorial diagram, and or a wiring diagram. Print reading requires understanding the relationship between a component symbol and the physical shape and location of the component. Troubleshooting requires reading a print to determine the location and use of individual components and understanding how to use test equipment. All right, everyone, that was it for that session. Next session will be test instruments, and I will see you over there.